This is a ultrasound study of a 30 years old married female referred to evaluate a mass in the region of the right, right hypochondrium. And uh, in the region of the right hypochondrium, we do see a mass. This is the mass under study. Now this is the mass, it's complex mass with internal ecogenic areas giving posterior shadow and uh, this mass this is the mass measuring 10.2 centimeter by 7 centimeters with an ecogenic area giving sharp posterior shadow, otherwise complex having cystic and, cystic and solid uh, areas within it. It is very inhomogeneous sort of a mass is solid because posterior wall is clearly seen that of the mass no posterior wall acoustic having seen this is the boundary of the uh, right kidney and it does not relate to the kidney at all it's an it's not relating to the kidney okay then This is the mass from another view. See its appearance with internal cystic and solid areas. This is a solid area, this is solid, this is a small cystic area. with this being the liver, this is the liver and see that the liver is normal. The liver has sharp margin, this is the angle of the liver, it is sharp, the liver is uh, seen below costal margin, minimally enlarged though. This is the kidney. Liver. We we will study the liver and kidney. Now you see that the liver has no smooth outer surface, normal ecogenicity, no coarseness, and the uh, capsule of the kidney is intact. This is the cortex of the kidney, medulla of the kidney, central sinus angle. Right kidney is normal in longitudinal section, and. Uh, this is the transfer section of the kidney and read the ecogenicity of the kidney with that of us and that of the liver both are normal with the normal so the liver is in fact normal by all parameters there is it's not a mass is not really in fact of uh, a liver origin now this is the left lobe of the liver and uh, in longitudinal section this is the superior this is the aorta superior mesentery artery arising from it celiac axis this is the uh, left lobe of the liver in longitudinal section now the surface is smooth equogenicity is normal no coarseness seen lesser margins are showing sharpness. This is the middle hepatic vein and uh, the pericotor echoes also stand with a normal. These are the pericotor echoes. This is the left portal vein. This is the 
ascending portion of the left quarter vein and the branches that are entering within it. Now, now this is the pancreas. in transfer section. And this is the supplenic queen, which is the uh, landmark for the identification of the pancreas, superior mesenteric artery, the aorta, and this is the pancreas. This line is that of the pancreas in transfer section. Head of the, uh, sorry, that is the body of the pancreas in transfer section, tail of the pancreas. And uh, this is the head of the pancreas in longitudinal section. So this area, this this area is the head of the pancreas in longitudinal section. So the mass does not relate to the pancreas. So it's not relating to the pancreas. It's not relating to the uh, right kidney. It's not relating to the liver. Now where is the gallbladder? This is the aorta, proximal aorta. Here you can see the IVC, this is the IVC. Now this is the portal vein, this area, pasal over the middle. Pura pasal. There is no history of uh, surgical intervention regarding the uh, gallbladder. Now see that uh, the both poles of the kidney are clear. This is the lower pole and this is the upper pole. The mass is not relating to the kidney. So this mass has is a hard mass, solid mass has no mass effect on the uh, IVC. Here you are seeing IVC in longitudinal section. This is the aorta and this is the IVC. The aorta, the IVC, and this is the mass. The large mass. We have to see its relation with the uh, portal vein. So 
not, no mass effect on the sodium jelly. On the aorta, IVC does not cross the midline. This is the midline. And here it is the mass. This is the portal vein. Portal equals are a bit uh, attenuated, and the portal wind measures is 14.2. It's uh, dilated uh, up to 13 is considered to be normal. Now this is the portal wind. And the region of the porta hepatis. And uh, as I trace it in the liver and then try to get it the gallbladder fossa, I do see that the this mass does show See the relation of the mass with the with the portal vein. Portal vein is at right angles to the mass to the neck of this mass. This is the mass, partial, not complete, but partial parent, and this is the portal vein at right angles to the uh, portal vein. So my impression is that uh, this is a mass that relates to the gallbladder. Is the is a gallbladder mass there to see at the age of uh, 30 years? And you can see there is adjacent adenopathy. As this is the mass, this is the lymph node, this is the kidney, outline of the kidney, this is the normal liver. And this is the diaphragm, no flu seen uh, about the diaphragm. And this mass, which is complex in nature, solid and cystic, has internal calcification. This is a calcification with sharp posterior shadow. And uh, this is the portal vein, this area. This is the lymph node. This is the right kidney. Again, this is the mass. And this is the level. So there is a bit of uh, some mass effect seen on the in the region of the porta hepatis as the uh, we see the portal vein is dilated. 
see the normalcy of the uh, river and uh, see the mass, compare both together. See, this is the this is the mass. This is the river. This is the normal river. This is the right hepatic wing. This is the diaphragm. Right hemidiaphragm. No fluid seen above the diaphragm. So we are seeing a mass that uh, is a gallbladder mass. These are the tributaries from the photo vein. What is the status of the region of the photo is that the photo? So this is a study of gallbladder mass with adjacent adenopathy. Thank you.